FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. On Wednesday, history was made as Admiral Linda Figgin became not only the first woman to lead the Coast Guard, but the first woman to lead any branch of the U.S. Armed Forces. The New York Times reported that when Fagan graduated from the Coast Guard Academy in 1985 she was a part of just the sixth class that included women. We're getting past the firsts, Fagan said, according to the Times. I hope sometime soon we're talking about the second female commandant, and the third female commandant, and that we'll have a black male commandant. According to the Coast Guard, approximately 40% of the incoming class at its academy in New London, Connecticut, will be women, the Times reported. Though, just 15% of people are female across the entire force. On May 12, the White House released a statement from President Joe Biden about Fagan's groundbreaking confirmation. It is with deep pride that I congratulate Admiral Linda L. Fagan on her confirmation by the Senate as Commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard, the statement read, explaining that Fagan was the first woman to hold the rank of a four-star admiral in the Coast Guard. Admiral Fagan's leadership, experience, and integrity are second to none, and I know she will advance the Coast Guard's mission to ensure our nation's maritime safety and security," the statement continued. On Wednesday, Biden, 79, participated in the Coast Guard's change of command ceremony where Fagan officially replaced Admiral Carl L. Schultz as Commandant of the U.S. Coast Guard. It's about time, Biden said of a woman assuming the office, earning lengthy cheers from the crowd. The Secretary of Defense, when he sent me, Fagan's, name, I said, what in the hell took you so long? According to the U.S., Fagan has served on all seven continents and has held several leadership positions within the Coast Guard. Most recently, in June of 2021, she was appointed as the 32nd Vice Commandant. 